Welcome to GeoVision video tutorial. My name is Pearl. The following demo is control center and video wall. For the first question, how to add host into control center, you will see more detail in the following demo. This is the control center UI. For the left side is host list column, and the central area is group list. You can group by different types of icon like VND, IO panel, or EMAP. And you can also group by different IP camera in a matrix folder. And the right side is a live view panel. So you can get camera live view in this window and with different layout. Okay, and that's provide host connection for how to add host in the into the country center. You can use the search host function here. It will auto network search connected available GVIP device, MultiCAN, or VNS, and even the SMVR. After search complete, you will get all the available IP device in your network. You can predefine ID and password because we are going to add the IP camera if you have sent ID and password you can define that here you don't have to enter that every time okay since this is IP camera so I will uncheck the one that is not the IP camera here Okay, I will uncheck the one that I don't want to add into the country center right now. So this IP can I I want to use that in my host list. So I can simply click the add selected host. So you can see the host list available here. This is my GBIP camera list. You can also manually add the host one by one. Let's provide the sample about SMVR. Provide the name here and provide the correct IP address. Provide the correct ID and password. And provide the correct model here. Use update information. Okay, and now we have SMVR add in the list. Right click that to check the live view. Okay, now we have host list here. After you add this, the host, please click save. Okay, this is how to add the host into country center. The second question is how to create and launch matrix with various privilege and user right. You will see how to use the matrix view, how to group the IPK list into matrix and how to assign the different operator privilege to see the different matrix folder. After you create host in the country center, now you can start to get remote monitoring for the live viewing. In the central area, please add group first. You can define the group for the matrix view. I will provide the name, it will be the matrix view one. You have to create a folder first. This folder can the combination for the IPK list on the left side. So we can drag and drop any IPK in into this folder. Then we will use this folder to create live view for the matrix window. For the first matrix view, we will use demo station three, the camera list here. Drag and drop the camera list into matrix view one. Okay, you will get this here. 
Now we will create the second one or the second battery view. And this time we will use SABR. So you can simply drag and drop this the SMBR into this group and can be the combination with other DVR system. For example, if this is a camera, I want to use the MFD5301. Can be the combination here, like this way. After we create the matrix folder for the live, v live camera list, now we can provide the privilege for the matrix folder. Please find the account here, account setup. We did create a power user account, Jack, so they can run matrix view and exit matrix view. And the Nancy, so they also have matrix privilege for the viewing and exit privilege. Okay, since they have different user privilege, so we can now apply that into the matrix folder. See the matrix view one, right click that, check privileges setting. This is for Jack. So I can simply enable Jack for the matrix view one. Click OK. And the matrix view two is for Nancy. So I can simply add Nancy the privilege for this matrix view. Okay, now we have matrix setting here. After we set up matrix folder with different user privilege and different IPCAN group, you can now set up application position to define different matrix for different monitor. Please find application position here. It will show you the two different monitors currently attached to your computer right now. The first monitor is HD resolution and the second monitor will be 1280 by 1024. So there are two different uh, resolution panel here. And find the application right now, the matrix here. Right click, click it show. It will display the matrix position by default first monitor. Right click the matrix folder, you can define the resolution. You can with a higher resolution now and define the position here. We will use the small one because I want to show you a different setting here. For the second matrix and you can also with the show function so you can have a different panel here. Okay, and the second monitor I will use um, the 1280 by 1024 the panel resolution. Okay, now you have matrix folder uh, definition with different monitor here. Okay, and we save setting. And right now I will use uh, the administrator privilege to start matrix, right click matrix folder and you will get matrix running. So this will be the first monitor running over here. For the second matrix, it will running in second monitor. I'm going to have a two matrix so this is the result that I have a two matrix running with administrator privilege for the first monitor with matrix one and the second monitor will be the matrix two okay this is my administrator privilege okay now we are going to demo different user privilege for different matrix folder since matrix one defined for Jack and matrix two defined for NMC so try to log in with different user account in Contra Center 
and you will see different result here. Okay, let's provide change user function. Now I will log in as Jack. Please check the folder matrix here. Click OK. You will only see matrix one. Since I don't have privilege for matrix two, so right click, you can only get matrix one folder running. This will be the Jack's matrix folder. Okay, now we are going to log in as Nancy. See, there is only matrix two here. So after you check the different user account login, you ha you have different matrix folder privilege here. See the matrix running. There are two different matrix group here. There are two different matrix group here. For Nancy, you can only see the matrix two, because this is only for the Nancy's privilege. So that's the privilege setting about the matrix. The last question for this page is how to configure video motion detection in control center. You will see the different type of events will be available for the video motion so you can have different selection for this kinds of event. Before we start the video motion detection live demo, please check our monitor for this computer. There are two monitors attached to this computer. The first one is HD quality. The second one is a 19 inch the PC monitor. So there are two different types of resolution and we will use the second monitor for the pop-up viewer and the first monitor will be the main monitor to display the video motion detection window. For video motion detection function, please check the central area. There is a VND group folder you have to assign the IPK list into this folder. So all of the IPK in this group will be take as video motion detection. It will display on the video motion detection the monitor. Okay. From the left side, you can drag and drop the IPK list into the VND group. We will use the demo station three for the demo, and we can combination with a different the multi cam system for the HD the camera. Okay, now, okay, you can save the list. And right now, right click the VND group. Okay, you will see the VND system and video analysis function. Check the video analysis function. So you can monitor this type event, the list over here. You can uncheck any camera you don't want to apply with kinds of monitor here. So right now we did check the motion detection for all the IP camera here. If there is IO detection, maybe some of camera doesn't have any motion, but it it triggered by IO. So you can take this uh, option for the IO. And there also the temperature along here, so you can monitoring the temperature. Click OK, and you have option for this IP game. And now, right click the VND group again. And this time, we will use the VND system. So we'll start the VND function. OK, now, you will see the window here. This is a VND system. Check the top toolbar. You have option for different layout here. A six channel or the twelve channels display. Check the pop up viewer. We have defined a second monitor for the pop up viewer. And the play time will be the five seconds.
for the temperature display, please find the system configure. You can define the range about the, the critical the temperature about the GVIP camera. Okay, now there is a video motion detection for the main monitor. Is video motion detection the main screen over here, and for the second one, you will see there's a second one, so you can get a, a bad uh, the large size for the camera display for the live, but it also with the pop up window here. So main monitor for video motion detection, and you can combination for all of the camera here. And for the second monitor, you have you can get a better viewer for the camera image. So this is a video motion detection in control center. We have three more live demo session here. The first one is how to set up an EMAP. You will get more idea about the EMAP setting and how to get EMAP viewer in the control center. To set up EMAP. You have to create host for control center. Please find the host list on the control center left side for the, this area. We will use demo station one. So you simply check the host name to EMAP group here. So we will use demo station one, two, three. After you create EMAP group, please use save button to save the list. After you save the list, please find EMAP editor from Control Center program. The naming will be the EMAP editor to create the Control Center EMAP. For the left side, this is the map view, so you will get a tree list for the map. And the host view will be in this area. This, this demo station one, two, three, we created before. And for the right panel here will be your map. Okay. For the first one, we will take example about the building. So we have a multiple, the multi can system monitoring for each floor. Okay. So for the demo, this will be a big building here. So we can provide a picture like a building's picture. So it will like a big building, for example. This will be our the EMAP building. Okay, this is outside. And now we can create map for each floor. So we can add map here. So this map will be the second floor. We can rename that. So there will be the second floor, which the second floor map. Okay, this building will be the second floor. Okay, now back to the main building. And we can right click that to add a map. Okay, we rename it third floor. Provide a map. So this is a third floor. So each floor with different map, and each floor has different multicam system. So you can provide the second floor, the camera here. So we'll provide the second floor with. The demonstration to the geovision surveillance system with different camera position here. Okay, now with the third floor, we will use the demonstration three. That will be a different the camera view. Okay, now we can save the list. To control center. Okay. After we close the EMAP editor, 
Now we back to the control center panel. Click the EMAP group again. Right click that, you get remote EMAP function. Okay, now we have a remote EMAP the viewer over here. With the any motion or I.O. detection, it will blinking for each the map. So that provides a, a detailed look for the second floor. It will open the uh, the map for the second floor and any camera with motion or I.O. detection, you will get the icon turns into red. Move your mouse, you will get a live view for the current live viewing Okay, so it will show you the camera for the live live video here. With PTZ function, you can also get control for the PTZ. Okay. So from the first page, there will be the demo building here. And with the second floor and the third floor display over here. And each floor with different kinds of uh, GV surveillance system here. And installed with different IP camera. So this will be the control center EMAP function. The second question for this page is how to get the multiple scan window in your video wall. Control Center Video Wall Required Dongle is an additional license for Control Center. You are required to insert the Video Wall Server Dongle into Control Center computer. For the remote PC, you are required to set up Video Wall Server. After you set up the video wall, right click the toolbar, you will get video wall server here. Right click that to set up the configuration. You are required to provide the location name and you will pass all the information here. So this is a monitor list. So this computer attached nine monitors. So you are required to set up each monitor if you are not necessary to display the monitor, you can just uncheck that. Okay. After configuration, now you are required to add start a service. After video or server service start, then now you can make connection from control center. In the video will layout list. Please find the host here. Enter the IP address you set up the video wall server. After you set up, now you can make the connection. Right click the host name, click connect. Now you can make the connection right now. Now you can add a layout here. Provide the name for the layout. Since we will demo the, the scan window function, so we'll use the layout as scan window. There is nine monitors in this area. And there is some function on the button. We got zoom window, scan window, remote e-map, remote view lock, media window, and web window. Find the scan window here. Drag and drop the scan window into monitor. Drag and drop the size you want to display. You can cross any monitor to make a, a big screen display. Or you can simply use one monitor for the display. For a second scan window, right click this area add scan window. So you have a second scan window here. Same. 
drag and drop the size you can make that or display here okay now we have scan window right click to set up for the scan setting there are many division you can do that now we will first scan window we will use four camera display okay and the second window we will use my camera display after create a layout now we have to assign a content you can create a group of camera list create a group one for scan window one Now we will use the demonstration one camera list plus some camera from the demonstration two. Okay. Now we can use one more one more group for scan window two. And this time we will use the demonstration two plus demonstration three. Since some camera that I don't want, so I simply click delete the IP can. Okay, now I have different group setting for scan window I will drag and drop the scan one for the first scan window so now the first scan window have four division with ten different channels for scan window two I have a nine division for fifteen channels okay after you apply this setting now click the scan window layout now you can just apply the selected layer then you will get the result this will be the result for a scan window for the first scan window for the left side is 4 division display and for the right side will be the 15 channel display for 9 division This is the video wall scan window live demo. This is the example about the video wall service. This is a nine monitor attached to the remote computer. The first monitor is live view about the IP camera. So there are four IP camera the live viewing in this quad view. And this monitor is web window so I simply provide web address and we can see the web patch and this monitor is media window it's kind of playback the pre-recorded video and you keep looping for the video playback this monitor is zoom window click any IP camera and you will get a zoom window in this screen this monitor is scan window now I have 16 camera with 9 division for the scan loop and this monitor is remote view lock playback window it will keep playback the video from the camera recorded in DVR or MBR this window is VNS remote desktop server so you will see this is a blue lock in VNS with a tie light. And this window is EMAP, remote EMAP. So any icon blinking, move your mouse and you will see the camera with live view is available over here. And this window is as manager remote desktop server. You can keep monitoring the status in as manager. So this is all about the country center video world service. 
The last question about today's live demo is how to configure remote desktop service and how to access remote as manager's PC. Remote desktop server is one of feature in video wall. You can share in your monitor the screen display in the video wall setting. Let's provide an example about the VNS. You can share in the VNS screen in the video wall. Of course, if you want to share it as manager, and we can use that for the second example here. First, you have to set up the desktop server in the remote computer. After you set up remote desktop server, click the toolbar and you will find an icon, remote desktop server. Right click the configuration. Let's find the sharing the area over here. You can define any screen the area for display. Click setup. Now you have you can use any drag area to sharing in the video wall. Of course you can use a full screen. So it, your screen will be full screen display in the video wall. Click OK and we'll save the configuration. Now you have to click the icon again to start service. So right now your remote computer the screen can display in the video wall. But we have to use this setting in the video wall later. After you set up remote desktop server in your computer, example is, is VMS, and now you have to add the remote desktop server into control center. Find the host list. Find the remote desktop service. Right click add remote desktop server. This IP will be your VNS IP. Let's provide the name. Check update information. So that means connection is available. Okay, now you have a VNS and sharing with one monitor. Check this monitor into video world list. Now you have VNS monitor sharing for, the, for the, this area. And second one will be the S manager. Okay. Let's simply check this icon to the monitor position. So that means I was sharing the VNS in this monitor. I will check S manager monitor in this position. Okay. Now you you did set up remote desktop server for VNS and S manager. Let's provide let's provide example here. Okay, let's check the result. This is the example about four monitor display for the video wall. This upper Monitors are the scan window. It's two by two, and this one is three by three. This scan window display, and this area is a VNS remote desktop server screen sharing in the video wall. And the right monitor over here, this is the S manager. So the remote desktop server can share in any the monitor that you want to display in the video wall. That's all the live demonstration about control center and video wall. This is the end of live demo session. For latest software download and product information, you can check our website www.geovision.com.tw For any question you may have, you can email to support at geovision.com.tw. Thank you.